بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس نیو ٹیٹوریل دس ٹیٹوریل اباؤٹ ایکسل اینڈ وی ویل بی ڈرائنگ دا فرسٹ اسٹریس ٹرینڈ کرف اینڈ دین وی ویل بی فائنڈنگ دا میکینیکل پراپرٹیز اور انجینئرنگ پراپرٹیز لائک پروپورشنل لمٹ ایل اسٹرینتھ الٹیمیٹ اسٹرینتھ اینڈ دا ریپچر پوائنٹ فرام دیٹ اسٹرینتھ اسٹرینتھ کرف سو ہیئر فسٹ دس از ڈیٹا آئی ہیو اینڈ فسٹ آئی ویل فائنڈ دا اسٹرین ان دا یونٹ آف انچ بائی انچ اینڈ دین آئی ویل فائنڈ دا اسٹریس So let me first uh, find the strain. So strain is equal to the elongation divided by the gauge length. So here I do and now click on this dot. Uh, this is the auto fill uh, function. So uh, I have find the strain and now I will find the stress. So stress is equal to the load or area. So here uh, first select the load and then divide by the area. Now again uh, through the auto fill and now uh, then uh, insert particular type of uh, plot so here uh, select data and now my x values for this plot will be these the strand and my uh, y values will be this so insert these and click ok so this is uh, I got the curve for stress and strain so this is the particular stress strain diagram uh, according to this uh, given data so here you see this portion is linearly proportional and obey the hooks law so we will be finding the yield strength through the 0.2 percent offset method so i will select only the data which are according to the hooks law i mean the linear so i will only select the linear uh, part of this curve so this is the linear part i have uh, selected only these uh, first uh, five six values now the next thing is to add a trend line so click on this line and then on the plus sign add a trend line and here you will get these stops so here select the linear trend line and display the equation so we have that and now i here i'm seeing the equation of this line so now the next thing is to include the other remaining values of this plot so first click on the select data here and then add and here uh, add your x series mean the remaining values of the x so this uh, add the remaining values of the strain because these are my x values so here i selected these and now similarly include the remaining values of y mean the stre stress now i am selecting the remaining uh, values in this plot so let's uh, make this uh, correction and now click ok so i have got the complete plotted but uh, now i have two plotted and they these are uh, well connected and this is the trend line equation for the uh, proportional area I mean the linear part which is shown with the blue color now the next thing is to draw the 0.2 percent offset line so this is 0.2 percent strain and this is 0.2 percent stress so the 0.2 percent strain will be equal to the actual strain plus 0.2 percent um, the 0.2 percent is actually um, added and that is the upset so i have draw and only i will be needed this um, uh, a few values which can cut the this actual uh, stress strain diagram and the intersection point will be actually the yield uh, stress so i have did this and now the strain will be the stress will be the same but i will find this through this equation uh, from here i have got the slope this is 10 power 7 and the actual strain mean uh, this is the equation y is equal to mx like a slope multiplied by the x value so my x values are now uh, click add uh, here the x values are actually the strain now uh, name this series as 0.2 percent upset and select the x and y values now click ok so this is drawn the 0.2 percent upset line but it not cuts the uh, actual line so let uh, increase its range so it is a bit above uh, let's remove one value and now uh, delete these values because we are not required these values now so now here you see uh, this upset line has um, cut the actual uh, plot and now i will find the mechanical properties uh, like the proportional limit the yield and other 
so these are the mechanical properties proportional limit yield strength ultimate strength and rupture now i will find uh, these values from here let me convert the values uh, from psi to ksi by dividing the stress value on 1000 here the uh, psi values are very huge so it not look uh, very suitable so i will convert them to the ksi unit by dividing on thousand so now these are converted into the ksi now i will select the these uh, proportional limit yield strength and the other properties so the proportional limit will be this point because up to this point the uh, line is uh, linear so it is uh, i have got is uh, some closer to 60 so this is 57.94 or not the yield strength so i cannot find this directly i will um, decrease this tip size so i have decreased this from 10 to 5 now the lines are more so it will be about the 65 and 70 so it will be about the middle of these two values so this will be 67.5 now the next thing is to find the ultimate strength so the ultimate strength mean the maximum value of the stress so here you see the second last dot is the ultimate strength this is the highest value of the stress so it is equal to 73.9 ksi now the next thing is the rupture so the point at which the rupture started so this is the last value and after this the rupture has been started so this is equal to 72.92 so this was about finding the mechanical properties of from the stress trend diagram so hope you like this video thank you for watching